Hey there everybody, M. Ricks here and I just made a sort of list of videos on the way but I reviewed all this, all the stuff I said I had to review, all the sets and now it finally begins, reviewing my mock Lego city. This is officially not a list video, it's officially the first Lego city update. I'm going to be talking a bit about the inspiration and such and when I started this and stuff like that. So uh, the whole build, the whole project was pretty much probably inspired by um, by Jane Bix. A lot of inspiration came from him. He does have his own Lego city um, and stuff like that. And at the same time, I knew I was going to be starting a YouTube channel. and. Well, that was in the works, like I was thinking, hey, it would be cool, something like that. I didn't know it would be actually happening, but anyway, I just decided I wanted to build something uh, like a city, you know, that would be pretty straightforward. So I actually went ahead and did that, and I started this roughly, I think maybe the last week of October or like the first week of September of not even um, 2018 of 2017 wow so yeah it's been like it, it's been over a year definitely definitely over a year like a year and what is that four months so a year and a quarter i'd say of building so you see these tables first i had that the one that's uh two of these then i got this then i got this Though originally when I just had this, really the thing that started this all was the park. I just wanted to make a Lego park. And then from the park, I just had other ideas and it grew into this city right here. But the first thing that started was this park. Not this base plate even, just this one base plate. Then I built something under the table, which I'll review later. It is the construction worker team. And then I went ahead and I made that toy store right there the ATM from based off the Ninjago City one. Then I made the beach. I added the stalls later on. I just want to give you a rundown. Uh, then I made McDonald's, the bathroom, then the clothes store. And then I think after the clothes store, the clothes store used to be on this side of this sort of block here. But then I changed that once I added these roads. And then I made the green grocer. Um, next came the arcade, then the whole fair slash New York street, as I call it, behind there. And then I made this um, tool shop, or no, sorry, before the tool shop. Well, these were being worked on at the same time, this and this. Oh, by the way, the alley came like right after I made this, I think, or maybe before. But anyway, I remember starting the the furniture store and then going on um, vacation to New York. So I did that, I like made the furniture. Then when I came back, I made the store and all and you know, I worked on both at the same time and then had them complete. Figures were just coming all throughout, you know? And then like I did some work on cars. That was actually pretty early along with the first street. And what I'm currently working on is this mock amusement park. It's still a work in progress. None of this is official and it was a real work in progress. Like, um, I'm a budget building builder, so like, I like 3D stuff though, not LDD, so Lego Digital Designer. So um, I build with weird pieces. Like, I used a bunch of pink and orange and yellow and green, like you can see here, like you can see right there, a lot of those weird pieces. And once I knew what I wanted, then I changed them out for better pieces. So I actually just got these in last week, these sort of um, beams to hold the uh, hanging feet coaster, as I always called them, up. And then, yeah, I'm going to have to change that out. Like, first I know what I'm doing, and then I really just change everything out. But, yeah, it is going to begin very soon, hopefully. Um, that is it for this video. Stay tuned for the ones coming up on this, and I will talk to you again soon, hopefully. Bye.